So it seems that the Frozen themes lands that are going to be coming to Disney parks around the world might be coming to these parks in a whole new way. But we'll dive into why up next. Hi there, Waltoners. I'm Jack. This is DSMI Newscast. Go ahead and subscribe down below if you're new to this channel. Hit that notification icon so therefore you always get an update. And now let's get straight into it. As the Walt Disney Company have massive projects and expansions planned for Disney parks all over the world at the moment. As after Galaxy's Edge opens next year, the momentum will continue as Walt Disney World's 50th anniversary looms large in 2021. Then we've got Epcot's revitalization within the same sort of time period. The huge presence that Marvel is beginning to take within all of the different parks around the world and then we've got the plans that Disney have for Hong Kong Disneyland and Disneyland Paris over the next decade. And that brings us to the news for today. As you see, as part of this multi-year expansion to Hong Kong Disney Resort, which will be completed by 2023, Disney are going to be adding a frozen themed land to the back of Hong Kong Disney's Fantasyland, with it being themed to, you guessed it, the Kingdom of Arendelle. But here's the really interesting thing, because the original concept art that was released back in 2016 shows this building here that is supposedly going to house the indoor trackless dance ride system that will be extremely similar to that of Luigi's rollicking roadsters over in Disney California Adventure, but using the sleighs instead of cars. However, new concept art has now surfaced online for this frozen themed area that distinctly features a frozen themed roller coaster attraction in that very same location, which seems to be extremely reminiscent of the Seven Dwarfs Mine Train attraction that's in Walt Disney World. And you see, the difficulty surrounding all of this is that this concept art that has recently surfaced online could easily be for an earlier version of this very same land that was later scrapped due to budgetary concerns. However, since this land isn't going to be built and completed until 2021, Disney's plans could easily change. And it clearly shows us that there were much larger ideas being proposed for this frozen themed land. Now budgets do switch and change and we've certainly seen projects change before, but the main thing to take away from all of this is that Disney are not just building one frozen themed land in Hong Kong Disney, but a couple of months ago they announced that they were going to be adding a frozen land to Disneyland Paris' Walt Disney Studios Park as part of a massive $2 billion expansion. And what adds to the increasingly interesting evidence is that Disney as of recently have had a habit of cloning the exact same attraction or ride system for various different parks, such as we've seen with Test Track and Radiator Springs Racers, Tron Light Cycle Coaster in Shanghai, and also the one coming to Walt Disney World, and even the Seven Dwarfs Mine Train can now be found in the Magic Kingdom at Walt Disney World and Shanghai Disneyland as well. So the Seven Dwarfs Mine Train ride system is certainly a popular and reliable ride system that Disney are very happy with. But either way, it's really interesting to go in and cross-examine some of this concept art, as we still know very very little in the way of details about the rides that are currently being planned for the frozen land that's going to be built at Disneyland Paris. And so anything that can give us additional context or clues to what we can expect is certainly much appreciated. Meanwhile, over in Walt Disney World, Disney Parks blog have finally released this brand new footage of the concrete foundations being poured for the brand new gravity building that's being built at the back of the Universe of Energy Pavilion with this being where 90% of the new Guardians of the Galaxy roller coaster will take place. And as we can see in the video, that this show building is going to be absolutely massive. With it being over 125 meters wide and almost 72,000 square feet in area. However, the standout thing to take note of in the clip is this section here, as this is going to be the area that will connect the Universe of Energy building to this brand new show building through the launch tunnel. So essentially, what we're looking at is the entire width of the launch tunnel from one building to the other. Although that's not the only new development around Guardians of the Galaxy, as Disney have started to tease the official arrival of this brand new e-ticket one-of-a-kind roller coaster experience from within the park, with these amazingly thematic construction rooms, which are sure to turn into a great photo opportunity as well. Whereas over in Disneyland, with the final changes being made to the Pirates of the Caribbean, which is scheduled to reopen on June 8th, with the inclusion of the new redhead animatronic, and also the additional changes in general to the auction 
action scene, which will be a near replica to that of what we already saw in March over in Walt Disney World. Disneyland have now announced that as part of a grand reopening of the attraction, the new pirate character of Red will be conducting a walk around meet and greet throughout New Orleans Square during the summer. And the last piece of news for today, which is actually surprisingly interesting, that Disney CEO Bob Iger has revealed recently that he's had meetings with Saudi Arabian officials and also the Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salam about the possibility of building a Disney park in Saudi Arabia as part of that country's new Vision 2030 plan. But Bob Iger made the standpoint very clear as we can see in this snippet. I was very, I actually was very frank with him about it and I'm not gonna get into those details <laughs> either. And I ended up saying that I would visit and see for myself, but that, we, that in no way should be interpreted to mean we're developing a park. Whether we grow or not there, I don't know, but I'll go. There are a lot of people who live in that part of the world. But despite all of that, this is still an interesting topic to monitor. But now, it's over to you, Walton, as I would like to know which other Disney movie do you feel should be represented and is deserving of getting its own land within any one of the Disney parks around the world, and also, what do you think that land would feature? And of course, don't forget to put the timestamp for where the Hidden Mickey appeared somewhere within this video, along with your suggestion or your comment to be in with a chance to win a DSM newscast pin and congratulations to Drew for winning with this suggestion from a previous video where we were talking all about the new details of what's coming to Toy Story Land later this summer. But now that's it for today so go ahead and subscribe down below if you're new to this channel, hit that notification icon so therefore that way hopefully you always receive an update whenever one of these videos comes out and also if you could give this video a massive thumbs up seriously it really does help this channel out and now I'm handing on off to you the Walton Ears to sign us off for today. Hi Walton Ears! I'm Paul from New York City, and I'm here at the Walt Disney World Resort having a wonderful time. And I've been shocked. You've been you. And I'll see you real soon. Will you walk? No.